Ladies and gentlemen, this week's episode of the Mob Blood Podcast is brought to you, as always, by our friends and lovers at manscaped.com. You know what they do. You know what the product is. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Why? Because I'm contractually obligated to. Contractually. I've got a mouthful of pubes, <laughs> and that can be solved with manscaped.com. They are the best at below the belt male grooming. You got a wee, you got a wee mustache over your tip? Get it shaved off with the lawnmower 5.0. They have so much great products. This is terrible grammar for me. I don't care. I'm just that excited to tell you about the products that we have. The lawnmower 5.0. They have the ball deodorant, the ball toner. Anything you could think of doing to your balls in a grooming purpose, they can do. They are absolutely fantastic. We we advertise a lot. This is one product I have religiously used. Um, I sit on a prayer mat and shave my balls. I use it all the time. <laughs> Manscaped.com. We can get you 20% off your order. You know the code, but we're going to tell you it anyway. Mudblood. Use the code Mudblood. 20% off your order at Manscaped.com. Support the podcast. Support us. And have some very trim balls on top of that. Use the code Mudblood. Do you know why you have hurry balls but not a hurry dick? Why? I don't know either. Uh, <laughs> I don't have either because I use Manscaped. <laughs> also, we're also sponsored by our friends at the Hench Distillery, local whiskey distillery. Um, you can go up, take a tour of the distillery, or just order some absolutely lovely local whiskey. Support local. Get drunk. Forget she's left you. With a hench distillery. <laughs> drink your worries away. Drink your worries away. Drink, but also drink responsibly. Drink responsibly in the car. <laughs> uh, but don't have the engine on. Don't drink and drive. Don't. 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 Unless you need to. <laughs> but don't. It's my partridge, yeah. But don't. <laughs> unless it's a requirement. But don't ever do it. Never do it. But enjoy hench distillery whiskey. Um, tell them your boys at Mob Blood sent you. Tell them. Tell them that. Make sure they know. It's lovely local whiskey. It's local made, local taste, local whatever. Local, local, local. Hench to celery. Jack them out. Enjoy this week's episode of Mud Blood. My tour tickets are on sale. Join the Patreon. Go see Search Party in the Empire. Go see, go see us live. Come over and give us a big kiss. Enjoy this week's episode. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's edition of the Mud Blood Podcast with myself, William Thompson. I am joined this week by Jordan Robinson. Hello. Because Pat, where's Paddy? Tenerife. He's a, is he in Tenerife? I think so. I generally thought it was Santa Ponza. Could could be. I don't I have know. No idea. Paddy's on holiday, and I didn't even realize because he like he didn't drop a message into the chat or anything. I just saw him sunburned. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "You still away?" He's like, "Ah." I was like, "Fair enough." We still like, managed to forget, and then we we're like, "What time we're doing this tomorrow?" Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. "He just wrote holiday." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Yeah." He, that's I love texting because it is like text. I know it is <laughs> mid forties, but it is like texting your dad yeah. when you're like. My favorite is like, should I go this way or that way? And he'll reply, yes. And you're like, not an answer. A lot of thumbs up emojis. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. As well. thumbs yeah. Up yeah. Emojis. yeah. A lot of memes that were big in like 2010. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, where am I going for us recording this podcast? Yeah. And he's like, Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bad luck, Brian. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> One does not simply <laughs> know oh where the God. podcast studio is. <laughs> that's not. That's what's like talking him over text. Derp. <laughs> Why you know you sitting in bypass? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I had a, a, a made him work. <laughs> From Germany, right? He was just discovering things like that, you know, for the first time. So he's like, Sean, look at this really funny joke, man. <laughs> and it was, it, it was something like that. It was like, fucking the Numa Numa. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sean, chicken nuggets are like his family. <laughs> Have you seen this honey booboo? Bacon is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm frantically trying to think of memes here. Um, <laughs> this little fat boy thinks he is in Star Wars. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped my croissant. <laughs> <laughs> And they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean, what is 9 plus 10? Is it 21? <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> and we just do this for the this rest of the podcast. This is just the same memes that we're being. I, German people, their humor is weird though, because they're very serious guys in general. So they're either like they don't get sarcasm, mm. or they're just pissing on people in a nightclub. That's the two <laughs> ones of German people. Have you ever been to Germany? Yeah, I went when I was in college. I um uh, went to Bremen, which isn't the cool part of Germany. That's such a huge part of Germany <laughs> to go to. Did you go see because of water Bremen? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I didn't know about uh, Werner Bremen before. But now they're my German team just because I went there with college. Sweet. Yeah, it's a nice part. Love What's it. in Bremen? Uh, there's, it's a weird statue of like a pig, or it's like a cow, a goat, a ch- pig and a chicken all on top of each other. Uh, and it's quite famous. I was like a monster in South Park. <laughs> yeah, man bear pig. Yeah, man bear pig. They essentially <laughs> have a statue of man bear pig in Bremen. Am I wrong? And Did you used to live in Germany? No. Where have you lived? Um, Australia, um, the States, and uh, Belfast, I guess. Belfast, yeah. <laughs> you seem really like, yeah. why did you start shaking there as though, like, I'm about to throw you out? Uh, oh, here's my homeland, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah, uh, those places. Yeah, because you, you have had such an interesting life that you will drop a random yeah. story from your childhood. There's, there's a lot they're of lore. they're all so mental. Yeah, there's a lot of lore. My, please tell Sean about what your dad used to do. Where was he meant to be taking you? Oh, uh, the, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so my uh, mom grew up, or wanted us to grow up, like, pretty religious. So uh, every Sunday, like, when I was in primary school, my dad was supposed to be taking us to Sunday school. Um, right. And instead, uh, we had an arrangement where he would take me to a lighthouse and I would go out and play in the rocks and he would sleep in the car. <laughs> and so you his, just... His dad would pass out sleep in the car and send his child out to play <laughs> in the rocks. Yeah. At the lighthouse. And yeah. he was like, hello. <laughs> that sounds... You know, a seri- Lemony Snicket? Yeah, yeah it's it sounds, of it sounds like he was trying to kill you. Yeah, yeah. But not make it seem like it was... Oh, I, like, <laughs> oh he, he accidentally fell into the rocks and died. <laughs> yeah. I did have a big insurance claim put out on me uh, as a kid. I wonder why, but... Um, <laughs> did you never get hurt on those rocks? No, no. I, I think uh, given the opportunity to hurt themselves, kids don't... <laughs> Your, you dad. Know. Your dad's kind of love. But yeah, yeah, kids, when you put them in dangerous situations, yeah, they're normally fine. fine. Normally fine. Yeah. Bounce but back. When you leave them in the living room alone for two minutes. Exactly. They... Covered in blood. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a new dad. He doesn't want to hear this yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking scurry. Like, it, does that fear come, obviously, comes in unless you're a Absolutely. Path, because they also, like, they give you, like, a big, you know, fucking talk, you know, in the hospital as well. But Who's there? They, the, the people. The man. I, they call it a lad. <laughs> Um, and like there's the this, wolf from fucking Pulp Fiction. <laughs> there's this thing called SIDS, you know, sudden instant or sudden infant death. Jesus right. Christ! Yeah, and that's um. So it's just anything that describes, you know, like a child dying of like suffocation or like whatever, you know, like from. So it it says all the things to prevent this, you know. So you're not allowed anything in the cot with them. Yeah, you you shouldn't. They, they advise against, you know, the child sleeping in the same bed as you. And oh, was it, why is that? Because you could, like, roll over on top of them and suffocate them. That's how I did. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'd forget to sir, like, kick it out. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Yeah, you, you, you'd be making the bed and you just do that with the sheets. You. <laughs> 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 I'd do something really stupid. <laughs> Oh, so, um, I'd be putting a bowl of nachos to the in the car and I'd be like, fuck what's going on <laughs> oh shit is I not supposed to leave my samurai sword yeah. in the car um, so um, we actually out of fear of that um, our mate gave us a land of this thing uh, called an owlet it's like yeah. a, a sock that you put on the child and it like reads their vitals 
Right, okay. While they're sleeping. Oh, shit. So, like, and it, like, sends alerts you to your phone. Yeah, I would love that, actually, yeah. for as a grown adult. <laughs> so, if anything happens, like, if their heart rate drops or their oxygen levels start tipping or whatever, it sends you a fucking... Like a massive steer phone. I'm not telling you, you've had multiple heart, heart surgeries, you do need this. Yeah, get yeah, the, that, get, that, would be, that would be quite handy. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine like they couldn't get it like adult size and I'm just having to like fucking squeeze into a child's sock. <laughs> um, but that puts your mind at rest. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a level of anxiety I'm glad I don't have. Yet. Yeah, I, c- I couldn't, I can do it. No, 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 it would freak me out. Because you, you had to have heart surgery, wasn't it, over the pandemic? Yeah. Because um, you were, I remember you were the guy I was really scared about getting COVID. Mm. And then you got it straight away and you were fine? No, 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 I didn't get it for a while. Did um, you not get it in London? No, when, you when see, we all got yeah, it? Yeah, this is what I was going to talk about. The It was, did you get COVID that trip? Yeah. Okay, we so. All did. No, 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 was it not like me and McKegney or me and Robbie were the ones that didn't? And everybody else got it? There was, basically out of me, you, Vittorio... Uh, McKegney, Robbie. Yeah. Most of us got it. Yeah. And somehow you, I, I, the most vulnerable <laughs> one, didn't get it. I think it's because you guys stayed in the same place, right? Um, yeah, that's I, what it was I, from. Yeah. I stayed in Stanhope Garden. It wasn't from on the eve of lockdown. Me and you, <laughs> we all did a gig Gen- with like 80 people in a 60 seater. Genuinely, the like day before everything started getting locked down, it was fucking mental. And that's what scared me with COVID because we went to England. And you, like, I have never, it literally was like walking through the streets of London was like the start of 28 days later. Yeah. yeah. No one was about. Yeah. No buses, no cars, no trains. Fuck all was going. We went up to Buckingham Palace dressed up as the Queen and then, and Camilla. So you think it'd be funny? No one was there. Yeah. Outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. Really no fucking No one strange. was there. And then I, I ended up having to get like a hotel room, but I was supposed to be staying in that squat in yeah. Tottenham Holt. And... Like what when I walked up there, uh, my friend was living there and he said you can crash her. When I was walking up there, it was like a warehouse and we had to go through like this like kind of weird kind of fire exit way. And I just kept counting like loads of dead rats when I was walking up to the thing and I was like, mm, probably not gonna Was that the here. friend our mutual friend? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I am, um, and he was like, Yeah, man, you can stay here. And I was like, Do you want to get a hotel? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You you were specific. Because I like, know him. And he's a lovely guy, mm. but would sleep anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah. I was like, Jordy, get a fucking hotel room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last gig I'd done before lockdown kicked in. No, because remember they said that, you know, it was going to, it was like March 16th or something that they were going to close yeah. everything. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so I think the day before, um, I'd done a gig in fucking Larn with Darn Farley. Right. And I just remember, like, you know, lockdown happening. And like at that time, we all thought the worst of everything. So I remember going, "Yeah, it was my last ever gig in Lorne. Yeah, <laughs> oh Jesus. Joe almost freaked me out because everyone was like, um, "Oh, it's only going to be two weeks. It's only going to be two weeks." Yeah. And my mind, I was like, "I've seen zombie movies." Yeah, this is it. The government aren't going to tell you. I, I so I, I freaked out initially. Yeah. And then after about a month, people were like, "The government's lying to us." I'm like, "Yeah, they're they will do that. <laughs> They've been known. They, they yeah. do do that. They've been known to do that." <laughs> But uh, the first month of it was scary mm-hmm. because nobody really got it. And then, like, over the summer, everybody got yeah, it. And it, I was like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah, it's grand. Yeah. Although, I, I'm, I'm not... <clears throat> the whole vaccine thing, the sickest I got was when you, I got... I'm just going to say, you're dressed like you fucking hate the idea. No, I'm, I'm a big... <laughs> as a newly autistic person, love vaccines. <laughs> um, he was uh, really skeptical. Got one. He was like, I love the vaccine. <laughs> I, uh, I also love Minecraft for some reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Guys, you just want to go to the train station for <laughs> just today? No, just me. No. Um, uh, yeah. I have a sudden urge of our Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one had a little bit too close to home. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you're newly autistic? Yeah. Not newly. Well, yeah. You uh, have. Found out recently, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a good question. How did you find out? Kept having panic attacks and... Uh, Ended up like twenty seven times in A and E in twenty twenty three. Fuck, which is a lot. So because the heart condition, every time I have a panic attack, I had to go because it was the symptoms of like a heart attack. Uh, yeah, um, I've had them a couple of times and they are yeah, brutal. they're bad. Like, um, so ended up going to 
a clinical psychologist to talk about the like source of it and like i started doing a bit about it but it genuinely was like first session she was like uh you ever been diagnosed as autistic and i'm like no she was like right well we'll get that sorted because <laughs> yeah. you got it yeah. you uh, got it you ever been diagnosed as autistic? No, but I can tell you the score in the <laughs> under eighteen Ecuadorian football league. Yeah, the um, which you absolutely could do. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about that. How many goals would Van Nelson score? Uh, would Van Nelson scored in the Champions League throughout his whole career? I could do. How many? Uh, Worst trick ever. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon exclusive guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you my score. How many was it? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't anticipating the follow up. <laughs> it's like Prime Minister's questions here. I'm just like, um, <laughs> shit, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're actually gonna ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you, like, I have weird stats yeah. memorized that are all WWE related. <laughs> it's, it's so annoying. It's just so funny. It's like, you could ask me this question and I would know the answer to it. And then you ask me a question, and they're like, all right, Parkinson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Gestapo here, are they? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've always been really into sports. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Every fucking mainly sport. mainly American sports to yeah. be fair, but like love football and stuff like that. Stuff like golf, tennis, cricket, and stuff like that just doesn't fucking interest me. Like but. tennis, I can watch. Tennis is interesting for a bit. Mm. Um, cricket, I don't respect. Um, sure, they give. A but I, but I love baseball, which is the weird thing because it might be the most boring sport of all time. Oh, really? 110%. Look. You would have been very jealous of when we were at the Mets. Yeah, oh man. I text Jane going like, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> and we were backstage at the fucking Mets. <laughs> fucking field side seats. So Have you, ever went, watch, have you ever went to watch the baseball? Yeah, um, I've been a couple of times uh, to Boston. Uh, when I was living in Chicago, I went a couple of times to Wrigley Field. And then uh, Yankee Stadium as well. So I've been a good couple of times. Uh-huh. It's and actually it's great, Craig, and it's the cheapest yeah, of oh, the yeah, American yeah. sports. Yeah, league. yeah. Um, it's about eight hours long. Yeah, yeah. it's long. It's just a big it's drinking long. session. So it yeah, is. yeah, you have to get hammered. I couldn't do it so like Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like back back when I was in Chicago, like I was drinking, and it's fucking it's great because you go to the baseball game, you start drinking, then you go out straight after. It's you don't even wait to the end of the game. You yeah, just, you just head out. Like, I find Americans Americans don't get hammered like we do. Uh, I don't yeah. think anywhere gets hammered like it's, we do in here. Yeah, it's a bit different in the states. Um, they all get a bit buzzed. Yeah, they'll get a little bit tipsy, and that's them. But like drinking with like solely being the only person from here drinking with American people, it makes you think that you have a problem. Cause, yeah, because the attitude toward everything's different. Yeah, I mean, like it's not going like right. Should we get shots? If, yeah, if you get a quarter bottle, that's between three people. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I show up with like a ten glass, and be like, "What are you guys on?" Yeah, <laughs> this it is just, mine. It just turns like every pre drinks into an intervention for <laughs> yeah. any Irish person. Hey, man, you might, you might, you know, you might be drinking a little bit too. But I'm like, fuck up, <laughs> fuck up with your like beers, uh, Cliff. I um I really fucked up one night when I was going to. Um, so the reason I went, I was living in Chicago was I was going to IO, which is Improv Olympic, which is like a training school for improv, uh, improv comedy. Um, and, uh, by the way, for background people, there's a weird civil war between <laughs> improv comics and stand up comedians. Yeah. It's, uh, because it's, where's that come from? Because I know stand ups don't respect. It, it, yeah, it's a, it's a very one sided beef. Improvs like oh, no, is it? me. Yeah. Well, oh right, okay. I just know stand ups hate improv. Yeah. I don't really. I think stand ups hate anything that isn't stand up. Stand ups hate stand up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stand ups hate anything. Somebody somebody brings a prop out and they're like, Ugh. oh yeah, what a fucking hack. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> brings out uh, like does the slay two thing That's and they're like, oh fuck. One of the best things you can do if you're just uh, around people like that in general, but as stand ups. Anyone who is constantly like, oh, this, oh, that, get away from that cunt. Yeah. Enjoy things. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. for so many years in stand-up, I was around proper miserable fuckers. Yeah. And it makes you weirdly pretentious. Do you want me to name all seven of them? No, no, you're all good. There's way more. Um, way more than that. But do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, just enjoy it. Just yeah. enjoy the thing you're doing. And yeah. if you're not enjoying it, fuck off. Yeah, stop fucking... Uh, yeah. 
so you bring went to improv bus. school. Went went there, um, and it was like a it's like a training camp almost, kind of like a terrorist style. It's great crack. Yeah, um, like guilt talk. Uh, but if someone does need improv lessons, it's terrorists. Like if the bomb doesn't go off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a fill of five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, but then so I will bring down the Western civilization <laughs> and <laughs> in a Starbucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did I hear somebody say <laughs> claw hammer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to need a uh, a suggestion of an occupation. Terrace, perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, we were um, training one day. Um, like so, it was like a full like eight hour day where uh you're kind of like yeah it's kind of like what you think acting workshops and stuff like that would be and there's loads of actors on the course because it looks good on like cvs and stuff like that if you're improv trained so we do that and then we're we get like discounted tickets for the shows that are in the theater later on that night so we go to improvise shakespeare um, which actually is class. Like, yeah. I know it sounds shit. Good improv is brilliant. That it actually is sounds like, like yeah. Crack. yeah, good improv is am- amazing. Yeah. There's just a lot of stand up, a yeah. lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. But when it's brilliant, it's brilliant. So af- after that day, we go get food and start drinking. And every time I tell the story, the amount of drink changes. But yeah. I got blackout drunk. Uh-huh. Don't know how I got home. Made it back to the hostel that I was staying in. And uh, woke up with my bed soaking wet. Uh, didn't have my phone, didn't have my... I had my wallet, but I didn't have my cards. Right. And my passport was gone. Oh, fuck. And I was like, this is the end of my life. I'm so uh, going to jump into the fucking river here. So uh, I got blackout drunk and I get really generous when I get drunk. I'm just like, anybody get to drink. Have my passport. <laughs> <laughs> you have earned it. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> so um, the passport was in my bag, which I left in the lift uh, that I got right. back that was ordered by somebody else's phone. So they had my bag. Uh, lucky enough, it was somebody that I was doing the course with. Right. Um, uh, and my phone and all was it there. So they had all my stuff. But I, I lived about about two, three miles away from where the, the school was. So... With the worst hangover in the world, I had to walk to class the next day. Didn't have, like, any cigarettes or anything like that. I was properly, like, the worst time in my life. And uh, so I get back. I, like, we meet up in the morning. I I get my wallet back. I go get a coffee. I go stick my phone on the charge. And my phone's charging. And then I open my phone. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, missed calls from my mom and my brother. And, like, loads of text messages going, like, you need to call us. Do you need to ring us? And stuff like that. And it turns out that my granddad died. And... <laughs> uh, she drank? <laughs> killed your granddad? <laughs> but... I, I feel so bad about this, and this is the first time I'm properly talking about it, is that I was so hungover. Like, I didn't really, have, I didn't really know my granddad, so it wasn't like a huge uh, thing that he died or anything like Jesus. that. Jesus. But I used it. Make, as make a, this way worse. I, mean. <laughs> I used it as an excuse to go back to bed, going like, I need to go try and find flights to go back home. I didn't go look for flights. I literally went back to the hostel and went to bed for the next fucking 17 hours. You're like, oh, fuck my granddad's dead. <laughs> A happy day. <laughs> Genuinely, it was like that. Uh, Why was the bed bed? wet? Oh, I was drinking. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing that I uh, I brought that up. Um, no, I there was an empty like water bottle, so I'm going to assume it was water rather than piss. Ah, right. Or sweat. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst experience of my life. Oh my god. I- <laughs> I thought that was going to get really traumatic. I was like, I just asked you what improv is like. And you're like, the day my grandfather died changed the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. God, I love So, did you live in Belfast and then move to Australia and then America, or...? Yeah, um, moved to Australia, then... When was that? It was 2015. Um, I went out to live with our mutual friend. Yes, yes. Out in Australia. And yeah, stayed there for, what was it, like six months or so. Um, it was good crack. Uh, didn't really do anything. Worked in a bar a wee bit and then came back home. Ah, fair. Yeah, but then second time, um, 
I went as like we were only out there for what like a month and a half, two months. But then we drove from Perth to Melbourne, which is like from one side of Australia to the other. Oh, I know. And we left it like a week to it's like do a six hour flight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's bad. Like, and we we were we left it a week going like that's plenty of time like to take our time, and you can't really drive at night just because the amount of like wildlife and stuff like that in the roads yeah it's recommended you don't drive yeah. in the desert also yeah yeah so we just ignored all that and um <laughs> the the day we needed to get to the uh because we got into melbourne and we were flying out that day uh like we made it by the literal skin of our teeth uh, after leaving a week yeah. for a road trip like and like sleeping in the car the whole time yeah why yeah. did you why what was the time like why did you need to get there for a certain time uh, it was just when our flight was leaving. Oh right, okay. So that that was the time constraint, and uh, yeah, I'll never do that again. No, I just got a flight next time. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's right. Did you hit yeah. any wildlife? Uh, no, but we saw a bunch of like roadkill, yeah. wombats. Because I know in Australia they tell stuff. you like if you see a kangaroo, and you hit it with your car, mm -hmm. just drive on. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it will fuck your car. Up. And yeah, if you get out, data. yeah. If you get out, they'll kick. You. Yeah, <laughs> they'll kick you to death. Yeah. I love how in Australia they hate kangaroos. Yeah, hate it. They're like they are bastards. I, th I think they just hate every kind of like natural occurring thing. Not koalas. They love koalas. Yeah, that, to, I love the way koala bridges. Oh, fuck yeah, you were over in Australia. Yeah. yeah, the I koala bridges are cool. Just because they had to build them because yeah. koalas are fucking idiots. <laughs> they really and are won't stupid. Won't go like, around something. They're so really if you've stupid. built a road through a koala's habitat, they'll be like. Oh, I can still just walk through here yeah. and you just fucking hit it with your car. Uh, koalas, if they don't pick the eucalyptus leaf, like if you were to give it a eucalyptus leaf, it wouldn't know to eat it. It, yeah. ha it has to like pick it off the actual branch. I also thought they were also sleepy. What a dumb piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> koalas are fucking idiots. Stupid. Like That's why they're near extinct. They're <laughs> fucking stupid as fuck. <laughs> idiots like. And you'd expect them to be more cuddly. I, like you did you get to hold one no you're not allowed to anyone anyway. uh, well, there's like one state you can do it yeah, yeah, and they're like, changing that all right so there's all right like, all right <laughs> it's <laughs> Australian um uh, I got to hold one when I was out there they're very yeah. they stink like shit yeah they really do and they're it's kind of like uh, they're so soft like, no 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 they're not man no no you would like you would think that but no it's like a mangy dog when you're holding it or at least the one I was holding oh you one. just held a dirty one then <laughs> Because I've seen them when they're all groomed and shit. They look great. But yeah, they stink because they shit, piss, and come and give birth out of one hole. Mm. Yeah, uh, I forget what the term... A cloaca. A cloaca, there you go. So the same kind of hole a bird has, a koala has. So it all... That's why they all have syphilis, because their mas all have syphilis. And then they give birth from the wee syphilis hole, and they all come out of that. You're laughing on your the, arm. The more same, you know. same type of hold your arm. <laughs> <laughs> your mask, <mom's> Cloaca. <laughs> Big Cloaca, man. <laughs> but yeah. So, <laughs> so they built bridges over the motorways because koalas were just walking across the roads and getting fucking crushed. And, kicked, like. and also, no way people say you can let. Like, like eucalyptus leaves, they say they drug them out. Uh -huh. Apparently, that's not why they're so low energy. It's because there's basically no nutrition in the leaves. Yeah. But that's the only thing that they can eat. So they just have no... They're useless animals. They are what really the fuck stupid. Are they like, they're, they're awesome, but they're fucking morons. Yeah, they're not winning the Darwin Award anytime no, soon. Like, they'll wake up for five minutes, look at you, and then sleep for another eight hours. Well, that's the fucking problem, because the rest of the world was, like, evolving. Yeah. And Australia was over, like... Yeah, stuck in the Stone Age. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I mean, I suppose it, for a co for a koala, it's the equivalent of like you getting out of bed and someone's just built a motorway in your room. <laughs> yeah, true, exactly. And then they're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> in my hallway. It's like you were asleep for seven years in a row. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was cool if we just uh, <laughs> yeah. aggressively expanded this yeah. highway. <laughs> yeah, I know people were expecting a lot of boxing chat this week, but Patty isn't here. So we can't really go into depth on his on his fight with Mickey. We can do the yeah. other ones though. Yeah. Do you wanna how, how did you feel about the night? I loved it. Um I was going about shooting some behind the scenes stuff. Um so I'm putting together yeah. we like um, You seemed angry at the end of the night. Did something piss you off? I seemed angry? Yeah. What in Lavries? No, uh, towards the end of the Ulster Hall. No. 
I was very hammered by that stage, so I do my thing of like, why is everyone annoyed at me? <laughs> do you hate me? Yeah. Do you must hate me? Why you, why <laughs> I'm sorry. I for me. I'm, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I why love you. Me, you I, I'm like, I'm sorry. I love you, mate. <laughs> Honestly. I was very much at that stage. No, like I was, I was um, in good form. It was really, really, really good crack. Like, yeah. everyone was in good form, even the ones who fought. I thought yeah. some of them would be in bad form. Uh, I felt um, I felt bad for Colin and I felt bad for Bruna getting stopped because yeah. last year there was no stoppages, yeah. wasn't there not? Johnny Bow last year, I think. Oh, was he stopped? Did, was no, he stopped? No, I don't think that. No? I, I mean, we need an agreement where people need to stop kicking the shit out of Johnny <laughs> Bow. <Bull. laughs> At one stage... <laughs> God damn it, they're beating the fuck out of At one <laughs> stage, he came slid... Or no, it, wasn't, it was when you slid into the ring... And um, an Arn turned around to me and goes, holy fuck, he's cut his stomach, stomach open. Yes, that was on the live stream as well, yeah. So, like, we were looking and, like, you could and see the blood. covered in blood, but it wasn't my blood. It was just... And, and then like he, an Owen all he, pool of blood in the That's side. all he said when he came out. <laughs> we were just like, well, you're bleeding. And he went, it's not my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Did elaborate on that? I actually went to lick it and then went, nah, that's yeah, a bad no. Idea. I mean, like, I, 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 I'm dirty. Remember, someone dropped their mouth guard and everyone was like, oh, Fiverr, if you touch it and all, I just picked it up, stuck it in. Like, oh. Whose was that? I think that was Jazz. Yeah, Jazz's I don't know who it was. No one told me whose it was. It was when there's a mouth guard there and I stuck it in and was like, give it a kiss. Oh. <laughs> I should fucking clump it. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I did a big fucking cleansman through blood. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just covered in sweat and fucking blood all night. That does not sound like a good time to me. Where did the blood come from? Because his nose wasn't busted. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I heard. Was, busted. was it? Yeah, yeah. No. God love him. Cunt has the cunt gets his shit knocked out of him every time. <laughs> and he fights through it. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. This keeps going. Ian was good. James and Darren surprised the fuck oh, out that of me. Because I know McKegney did no trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I and was in Cosmo with him the day before. And Darren's good, like. Yeah, but like I don't know, James just pulled it out of the bag. I on the think end. Darren doesn't take getting hit well and uh, can get pissed off. Yeah, yeah. Because I could see him trying to do what he did to McAlevey the year the way through yeah, the show. The G- the he tried thing. to do it. The James was like, "You're not lifting him." <laughs> James is a heavy boy. Like, uh, it was the same with Colin. Like, see, as soon as Ro got that first dig in the face to Colin, you just saw him like fucking like yeah. stumbling back and going, "Oh fuck!" And it's like. You could see, like, his eyes were fucking going yeah. two different time zones. Because a, good, a, <laughs> you know a I mean? good dig to the face. Yeah, fuck you know, you up, There's like. no fucking preparing for it. Like, you're yeah. like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, I... Uh, yeah, I fair play to call him, like, because no one else wanted to fight Ro. Yeah. Ro can't fight again. <laughs> yeah. No. Who's yeah. fighting him? Heather? Although, uh, Gary Pollock is uh, ex-MMA background. Oh, is he? So... I mean, even the size difference, though. Yeah, uh, the size difference for sure. It looks like Andrew Tate. Yeah. <laughs> we should get that uh, fucking. That, that, I know it's. Shane's already talked about it being a logistical nightmare, but I do think MMA is the next step up. Like, I would like to wrestling. do that. See, people have been saying comedians wrestling, and I'm like, yeah, that that wrestling would be, uh, would be fucking great. Yeah. I'll, I'll be, me, and Ro, me and Ro were talking about this, and I don't think people realize. The chances of someone getting really, really badly hurt oh, doing right. that is a lot higher. Yeah. Because in boxing. boxing, like, yes, yes, it hurts. And it's obviously, you know, a real sport. But you're there's a lot of protection. Yeah, there's whereas, like, wrestling, you're, like, throwing yourself to the ground. Yeah, yeah. wrestling, like, you need, to, you need to know how to do it. Yeah. And even if you know how to do it, it fucking can go yeah. wrong. It's basically the art of knowing how to fucking fall off things and pretend yeah. to... Not only that, yeah. you also need to depend on the person like, throwing, oh, yeah, throwing you, you. Yeah. to do it right. Yeah, there's a lot of trust in it. Like. So I think if we're, you'd need to team up with actual wrestlers yeah. Yeah. who would do the wrestling. It's sort of, you would need the whole thing choreographed. Yeah. But you would yeah, need yeah. it like done. You'd need practice. Very, like, very basic stuff. So then you would put more of the emphasis yeah. on like the whole bravado thing. Yeah, the showmanship and, kind the, of thing. And yeah. all the walk ins yeah. and stuff. I yeah. fucking love the It would be good. I crack, like, love the dude. It's the only uh, physical activity I can do, <laughs> yeah. you know, is, is be someone's manager. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. spit in someone's face. <laughs> I'd love to do it. Like, it what, would, be... what would your like we uh, name be? Oh, what, yeah, what would your gimmick be? Uh, I want to be Cuban. That's all I know. 
Oh, like Jordy's going to block up for us for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love wrestling. <laughs> Um, I would uh, like a white linen suit for Dora. <laughs> oh, that would look so, you're so like a slave woman. <laughs> You've got a, a long piece of weight hanging from your mouth. Oh, the slave driver would be a great finishing move. <laughs> He's going for the slave driver. Come out in the ghetto. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's going to send him back to the field. <laughs> oh, oh you manage you a wrestler called Uncle Tom. <laughs> This is the worst gimmick ever, Jordan. Why'd you think of this? It's the worst gimmick since Eugene. <laughs> Might be worse. Might be worse. Uh, like growing up, I genuinely Eugene was <laughs> my two favorite wrestlers were Chris Benoit and Eugene. Man, I fucking love. See, as a kid, I loved Eugene because I thought he actually yeah. was. Yeah. Now that I'm older and I know that he's not, you're yeah. like, oh uh, yeah, fuck, it's, yeah, it's a bit like when you know he's not disabled, you see him going. <laughs> but as a kid, I'm like, he played the part well. I was like, yeah. oh, they've just got a disabled kid. Yeah. Triple H just beating the shit out of him for some reason. Uh. Remember that there's a kid that was disabled and Triple H just. Would not let that stand. He's like, how dare you? Not be, on my watch. How dare you be disabled? Get the hammers. We're going to club them. Uh, oh, Jordy that. Plantation. <laughs> <laughs> what would mine be? Oh, what would mine be? Uh, I don't know. See, I don't know. I, I would say, I don't know, like a real kind of like golf persona would probably work well for you. Fuck off, like, no, Jeff, like Jeff Hardy. Sort of thing. <laughs> no, just like like cut a promo outside the front of City Hall, drinking a monster. <laughs> I would. I've always wanted if I was going to be a manager, I'd have like a big like Del Boy coat and a flat cap, and yeah. take bets on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like an Italian boogie, yeah, like a mob boss guy. That's I would do a good mob boss. <laughs> Giuseppe <Sardinian>. Betfair. Yeah, <laughs> that would be mine. <laughs> just William Hill. <laughs> Why didn't I go for fucking that one? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Fuck's I didn't sake. think of that either. That's it was great. right in front of my fucking face as well. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, oh my god, what a gimmick, William Hill. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be a good gimmick. I could like fix matches and yeah, shit. That yeah, would, that would be pay people good. to take a dive. It's a good gimmick. Um, yeah, because Seamus asked me in his podcast, he's like, what's the next comedian's thing? I was like, can we do stand up? <laughs> Can we do that? Uh, We've done so much. I had a, a see when I was like eleven or twelve. I had a wrestling persona, like we used to do wrestling on my mate's trampoline, and um, and I had a broken. I perpetually had broken legs between the ages of like ten and thirteen. Um, you love fish from SpongeBob. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my legs. My legs! <laughs> <laughs> so my, my wrestling persona was Captain Crip. <laughs> <laughs> just every time someone puts you in the ankle lock and breaks you're like you're out for six months but day. i i was like i had a cast on and i was doing the rest <laughs> the oh my god sweet chair music with a cast on <laughs> that's a good gimmick that would hurt like fuck that actually he, he wasn't had that <laughs> the gimmick. broken bone assassin <laughs> someone did have that gimmick cowboy Bo- cowboy bob orton broke his arm in like the 60s and never took the cast yeah, off because yeah, yeah. his gimmick was him going no it's still broken so I yeah. need to have it on and then he would end the match just by going <laughs> smacking you with the cast yeah. I mean like no it's fine I'm, I'm allowed to wrestle with it on uh, Jesus uh, Christ Tatanka was another guy that I really liked maybe a Native American idol yeah why do you like the shittest wrestlers man I, I don't know. yeah they're interesting he's not <laughs> how is he not he comes he's like a native blah, 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 yeah. and that's it and he's actually native american so it's okay is he yeah I thought he was italian <laughs> I <jammed laughs> italian him. native american what well they had a Samoan guy with a japanese wrestler yeah yeah they did that and they also had a ja- someone in 2010 play like a japanese warlord fully white <laughs> It was Adrian. It's he uh, disappeared and came back as Lord Tensa. <laughs> I'm never just seen fully that. Japanese. It's like it's clearly a white guy. <laughs> Carlito. Carlito. Oh, Carlito. Cool. Yeah. yeah that, that's what I'm thinking. Kind of. of <laughs> my, <laughs> my. What was his manager called? Didn't have him. No, he did. He he definitely did. He had a body card named G- Jesus. <laughs> no, I I don't know. He, he he wore like the Cuban suit, had the cigar and stuff like that. You're making this up. Uh, I'm, I'm Carlito going did research. not have that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. If there's did. a guy in this room who knows, yeah, I know. It's absolutely me. I I, I think you may be misremembering the whole thing. I know but... this. 
I will look it up. I know for, just to prove you wrong. Carlito did not have a manager. Rosa Mendes, it says. Two seconds. That was his valet, not his manager. Valet is the kind of like girlfriend type yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's when you bring your bird to the match for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like, Rey Mysterio was also a uh, big... Re- yeah, yeah, Rey Mysterio is my Rey, favorite. Yeah. And you were thinking of Omega's handler? Yes, uh, 100%. Armando Estrada? That, that's 100% what Omega. I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yes. That's who you're thinking yes. of. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I also love Hurricane. Never Hurricanes. fucking question. My <laughs> Never question. But my did he not have a storyline with Carlito or something like it that? May have done. Yeah, maybe I'm like well, could be misremembered. He became like. the ECW man- or general yeah. manager. Never question my wrestling. I love the so ECW man. Why do you like Rush? Love shit is wrestling. <laughs> Sabu, Sandman, Tommy Dreamer, the classics. That's that's what you enjoy. Did you enjoy original ECW or ECW when they brought it back? ECW when they brought it back. Oh, it's so (laughs) shit. It's awful. Was Um, that when they would just have the extreme expose and they would just have 18 year olds like stripping? It was really uncomfortable. (laughs) Don't remember that. Yeah, Kelly Kelly. I remember Kelly Kelly. (coughs) Kelly Kelly shed the boyfriend, Mike Knox, and he would get really annoyed when she would take her clothes off. And everyone's like, oh, what a spoiled sport. (laughs) Won't let his girlfriend get her whole life. What a bastard Mike Knox is. What were you going to say? Can't remember. Oh, sorry. I spoke over no, um, love the hurricane. Hurricane was good. Yeah, Gre- Gregory Helms. Yeah. 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 Oh, I yeah, because he him. stopped being the hurricane. He was like, no, I'm, I'm a bad guy now. I'm yeah. a beanie. <laughs> I'm turning face. I'm a trench coat and a beanie. <laughs> I'm evil. Yeah, he's dressing like the fucking Unabomber now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. What's, the, what's the sport you're most into? I saw yeah, I, could say I love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because you told me the day you were like, "Yeah, I got diagnosed with autism," and then five minutes later, went for my birthday. I'm thinking they're gonna box out for the Giants. I was like, "And you had to wait this long for the diagnosis." <laughs> I just had to be sure before you I, know I pulled the trigger on I it. I like... realized how autistic you were when we were in Glasgow, and I took you to an, like an authentic Italian restaurant. It's one of the oldest restaurants in Glasgow. Authentic Italian. All like really. Oh, I know. Italian yes, dishes. I know where you're on about. I've yes, been there. it's it's lovely. It is lovely. Jordy, what did you get from the Italian restaurant? I got a chicken burger. You got chicken burger and <laughs> chips. <laughs> I'm like, oh, can I have the Alfredo uh, tortellini? And he's like, do you just do chicken burgers? <laughs> and they're like, for you, wee man, we will. Yes, do you want do you want the wee uh, crayons now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're sitting eating the burger, like legs swinging all. I'm just staring at you. I'm just sitting there eating the fucking crayons. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, that, was, that was a great trip, though. Um, that was very fun. Yeah. That was, was very was fun. A lot of, I'm going back. Yes, for um, the stands. Yeah, I, I made you fly home alone, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, not cool. Very, tra- very traumatic. Uh, <laughs> that was that online you like, please don't go out. And I went, I'm going out. Because <laughs> initially I felt bad and I went, he's two years older than me. <laughs> Because I end up going out drinking with people I knew, and Jordy was like, "Oh man, just come back with me." Like I, I don't want to get a flight home. And then she was like, "Oh, I don't want to leave him alone." And then my mind clicked and went, "Oh, he's in his thirties. He can make it to an airport." Do you want me to tell you what actually happened? What? <laughs> no, you're not telling the story. Okay, fine. You can tell him all her. Okay, uh, but like, no. What I will say is that I, it wasn't about me traveling by myself. I just didn't want you to miss the flight. Oh, never worry about me. <laughs> Oh, never worry about me. I am known for... I'm a boomerang man. You... I'll but, return home always. But you also missed two flights. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I put the second one and missed that as well. <laughs> but I'm still out. I remember That's texting insane. you going like, uh, yeah, just make sure you get to the airport in plenty of time. Like after I'd already got the first flight home. You make the worst travel decisions. <laughs> honestly. Like... I have fun. I fuck around. On, on the night of my wedding... <laughs> Like we've said this all the time. you to get me a room. Sean, have words. It was like two o'clock in the morning, and he's like, "Can I get a room here?" And they were, they were like, "No." And I was like, "Why?" He's like, "I will drive my car home." <laughs> <laughs> and over yeah, he starts to run. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna drive home. Uh, it's your fault because you won't get me a room." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, you live like we're in the corner." <laughs> I was, like, I was like, it's like 200 quid for a room here. Yeah. He's like, give me a room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a room now, but I'm driving home. Uh, <laughs> Where I, blamed, I blamed Tyrone because he got me fucking hammered. I'd never drank with Tyrone before. <laughs> and I can't drink. Big so. drinker? Oh, he is. Yeah, I get on great, weirdly great with Tyrone. 
And uh, two ADHD motherfuckers <laughs> running about. And I just remember the line coming out of his mouth, like, "See in the morning, there's going to be the scene of a new fucking DVLA advert out there, <laughs> and it's going to be on your hands." <laughs> You have to say that to the receptionist. <laughs> and he was he wasn't even no, he said that to the person like he wasn't even like a receptionist or it was just like the security guy. You know what I mean? He's so gonna give me a room. There. It was just somebody else staying at the hotel. Yeah. That's on your hands. I don't even remember any of this. He did get a room though. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I have a way with words. <laughs> I'm uh, John is when I really want something, I am stubborn about it. And I think it just became a case of if we get you a room, will you leave me alone? <laughs> like, Fair enough. I don't even think you used the room. Because <laughs> they're sleeping with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking great. Because uh, <laughs> uh, it was that thing, the wedding that ended, and everyone just like 20 people piled up in one room, and everyone sitting there with like, one beer bottle, like sat in the corner and shit. Great wedding. Great yeah, wedding. Good Where, uh, whereabouts was it? Can you. It was in the mall. Oh, fuck, I used yeah. to work there. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Fucking back in the day. How was that? Hated it. Hated every fucking second of it. Um, I started collecting glasses in the function and then... Uh, before, before he started working there? <laughs> yeah, this kid's got something. <laughs> this is the type of energy I, I bring like to the function. Clink. <laughs> I started collecting glasses, moved up to like waiter service, then bartending, then doing the tells and all. Oh, you're working your way up? Uh-huh. Sure you're stuck at it. You can I own re- the Le Mans. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Why did you hate it so much? Oh, man, it was just the worst place to work. Like, just in terms of... Hotels like, strike me as the bosses or dickheads. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. no, like, the, the managers and stuff like that, they can be sound, but the higher-ups, they're, like... Yeah, yeah, they don't care. Like, yeah, you either leave Le Mans or you stay long enough to be Le Mans. Yeah. <laughs> you really took your time saying that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to be... Le Mans, Le Mans. Le Mans. That's I forgot I did that at your wedding. That's fucking wild on my behalf. I'm sorry, Le Mans. <laughs> you can't stay here. And the well, security I'm guy. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you're not seeing the state I was in. I was fucking. Oh, I could imagine. I was, yeah, you know yeah, how yeah, I, I do. I, 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 see, far I get drunk, but I never become a liability. I don't mm. think you've never seen me. Well, I was drunk my first gig, but I don't think you've ever seen me drunk. I haven't seen a lot of you. A lot of yeah. The only there's three that I can depend upon who will get drunk with me, and it's me, McKegney, McCann, and Mickey. Mm. I may, on occasion, Casey. Mm. Outside of that, no one drinks that much. Mm. I think I, I've seen Colin drunk maybe twice. Uh, McCarney, I've seen drunk. McCarney's just a huggy drunk. Yeah, McCarney just wants a wee cuddle. Uh, I fucking just have to be like a wee fucking bastard. <laughs> um, outside of that, there's not a, Alan Urban. I've seen drunk a couple of times. Uh, no, I've never seen. Alan never drunk. seen Alan drunk. <laughs> he's a fucking he's a fucking mess. He, <laughs> he's just one of those guys just like walking in this shit, it's like a sloppy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where was your first gig, Jordy? Uh, the Pavilion, fucking twenty eighteen. It was good crack. You were on that night. Here. Was uh, I nice or was I a uh, like you, uh, So I got videotaped. My sack got videotaped. And I, uh, like I say the first show because I had like a shaved head. Used to say I looked like Sinead O'Connor. Groundbreaking stuff. And you can just hear you cackling in the background. <laughs> that's all right. Throughout the whole thing. So that's, You're good. Yeah. Because I always like I try to be nice to people. But sometimes like, oh, did they catch me in an off day? I, yeah. I, I think I'm nice to most people when they start. That, that lineup that I was on was me... McKegney, McCarney, Cormac. Yeah. Uh, Mary Flanagan, MC, and Sean Laurie headlined. Oh, good lineup. That, that was fucking cracker. That's good. For I my think first gig from life. when I started, not <sighs> other people who started with me, there's not a lot that have stayed. Like, have stayed? Yeah. Because weirdly enough, even though Jordy is like, how oh, much older than me? Uh, what, three years? Three years. Yeah. I'm still like the the veteran. Yeah. Which is I, so I was strange. So, like, I was going way before they were. So. Yeah. What year did you start again? 2014. Yeah. 2015? Man, that was fucking four years longer than yeah. before I did. Like, yeah. So I'm like the mental. I'm like the veteran. Even now, when people are like in their 30s and starting, I'm like, come here, kid. <laughs> Let me tell you how to Come here. <laughs> tell you what you're doing. This isn't my first time running yeah. a fucking cart. I didn't realise how young I started until yeah, now super young. that I'm like 10 years in that I'm still younger <laughs> than most people. <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, I don't know if, if, if I had to start now, I don't think I could do it. No, I wouldn't want to start now. There's, no. t- there's too many people trying to get too low spots. 
Oh no, there's more spots than ever. Yeah, but there's still, but there's the, still the amount shortage. of people going for those spots. I, I find some of the new ones. I find they're a lot more fucking would snap your neck for a five spot than we ever were. Uh, no, I I would have done anything for stage time back in the day. <sighs> like literally drive to Cork for an open mic. No, but I mean, they're a lot more like they'll climb over each other. Yeah. Whereas we were always... We were more, mates. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we were always camaraderie with it like. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the new, I'm like, oh, I don't... I don't, bit, yeah. I don't like some of this. Yeah, it's a little bit caddish, isn't a it? A little, a little more so than it's more caddish at that scene than it is like at the at the yeah, the oh, up gigs. The top, yeah. You get the like, go to the, the the some of the bottom. Not all of them. Most of them are lovely. You just get the odd like someone's trying to claw their way through, and yeah. they're like you know a little bit of bitching, a little bit of fucking that's, character assassination. We've yeah. said it before. That's what fucking kills the music scene here. Yeah, that's how <laughs> we try to like stamp it out because we're like we're telling you now it's not. That's not the way it's to go not about it. Positive mm. and like, don't worry about it. Just worry about getting better. Yeah. Go to the bigger gigs and we're all sitting being like, I like your shoes. Yeah. Like that's no one gives a shit. Yeah. Because we're all very secure in yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. And we're like mates at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 Everyone is friends. Uh, what are we on there, Sean? We are on about forty nine minutes. Sweet. Um, anything to plug while you're here, Jordan? I have what? absolutely nothing. No worries. <laughs> uh, my tour is on sale. My Edinburgh Fringe dates are on sale. I am in the Waterfront and on the Millennium Forum in December. Come see those shows. The show is shaping up very nicely. So when I get it back from Edinburgh, the shit's going to be tighter than my fucking jeans. Where can uh, you check get out the, the Mumbler Patreon. What were you going to say? Where can you get the tickets? Um, get them on Shine.net. My website, WilliamThompsonComedy.com, is being built. But it's not built yet, but they'll be available there. It's a coming. If you yeah. build it. They will come. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kevin Costner, baseball. Look, it's gone full circle. Yeah. yeah. Someone go. say a meme and then we've Fill completed the this podcast. Fill yeah, that's all. Yeah, never seen it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> go join us on the Patreon. Yeah, join us over in the Patreon. We'll take your QA, we'll take your questions. That's every week. If you sign up, you get live podcasts. You get three years of extra episodes. It's as little as a pound a month. Sign up if you enjoy the podcast. Thank you very much and see you next week. Bam, bam.